Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will show you how to add Anaconda prompt uh, to Windows Terminal. Uh, I show you. It looks like this. This is Terminal. Uh, Windows Terminal here. You see Anaconda here. Um, Windows uh, Terminal is really a very handy uh, tool for uh, for the Python developers or uh, for Python learning. Um, maybe somebody uh, asked why we are uh, bothered to uh, do that. I just show you. Yeah, when we uh, go to the, uh, for example, I have a folder in D. Yeah, this is the uh, the working directly. Uh, my lecture, for example, we will to analyze this. Yeah, if we add uh, the um, Anaconda prompt uh, in the Windows terminal, yeah, we can do this. Open Windows terminal here. You see, we just choose Anaconda. No, we are in the working directory. We just uh, type uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, to start it. Yeah. And also, sometimes we need uh, more tab, more tabs. We can add. You know, this one may be running the uh, Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this uh, uh, for this uh, uh, tab, uh, we uh, install some libraries, uh, for example. Yeah, it's very convenient and practical. So this is why uh, it's necessary to do this. Uh, if you are interested, you can follow me uh, to do that. Uh, because I have already added the Anaconda prompt uh, into the Windows terminal in this computer. I have to change to another computer to show you. Okay, first, let's search the path of Anaconda prompt. We just click here to search Anaconda uh, uh, and uh, prompt, yeah, this one. We right click to open the file location. Yeah, this. We right click Anaconda prompt, Anaconda 3. Right click, go to the properties. We go to the this target and then right click copy we go to any text editor here for example i establish a new a new text document yeah you can use word or any others notepad yeah just paste it here we remove the useless things just leave this cmd.exe, yeah, from here, we remove the information before that. And we remove the quotation mark around the key. And also remove the information after the activity.pet. Remove this. Okay. You see, this is a large one. Yeah, we just leave this part. Of course, yours may be different, uh, especially this part. Uh, this is my computer name, Sigma. Yeah, uh, not, please, not, don't copy this. Uh, yeah, it will be uh, produce error. Uh, 
just uh, copy the path of anaconda prompt of your computer on your computer okay no next step copy path of anaconda navigator icon uh, it is in the same folder if you closed you can find it yes just click search uh, open the path yeah okay just double uh, no need to double just uh, right click then property no we are going to change icon this one then copy the path of the icon copy now we close it we put in the steam um, text editor here just put it here we don't need to change anything just keep the original okay yeah this step no let's add anaconda prompt to windows terminal no open windows terminal and click down let's open and click down this um error yeah menu we go to setting click setting we go to the open json file just uh, click and open no we just go down here we maybe we copy just copy from this bracket uh, bracket um uh, curry bracket this part yeah the cmd dot exe uh the order may be different uh, between uh, windows 11 and windows 10 uh, but it doesn't matter just copy yeah copy the uh, command line uh, cmd.ex this part or, or other part is okay yeah i suggest you to copy this then we passed after that Yeah. this the comment line cmd no we just uh, change the information we copy this cmd dot ex this one we already edit and come back to the uh, setting uh no we change the comment line yeah this part in the uh, quotation mark the cmd.exe we change this uh replace this with the information we just copy yeah look like this then the guide we change change maybe the only the number here uh this is unique in fact unique and it is different from others because we already use in the cmd.es uh, exe so we change maybe we change the last four digits we change it to maybe something like five four Three two anything, but not uh, the same with uh, others. Okay, then hide uh, both. Yeah, we didn't change here the name comma prompt uh, prompt. We change the name to Anaconda prompt. Also, we add something. We add the icon. Yeah, this one. We add a line called icon 
uh yeah this maybe we uh, edit this yeah icon let's copy it or you can type you can put uh anywhere uh in the in the curly bracket maybe we put uh after this guide or after this it's okay we put here i make it the same line i type uh, then you can see we can type icon small or uh, capitalizer or i mean the locus it does matter icon then this we copy maybe here in my slice um, but we uh, from here this Just the past, but remember to put a quotation mark here. Use double quotation mark. Also, there's a comma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this line, comma, icon. Okay, I think that's that's it. Let's go to the file and see. No, let's close and go to this um, and have a check. Maybe there's some mistake. Let's close, reopen. There are some mistakes. Oh, there are some mistakes. We Go to the setting, the open the JSON again. I forgot something here. We should change the um, backslash single to double. We add another one. Oh, there will be mistake. There's the error. Also, the icon, the path. We add a backslash. Yeah, it looks like this in the, uh, you see, in the slice. It's double. In fact, at the end is uh, like this. Double, double, you see, or doubles. No. Let's see it. I think we change all of them. Yeah. Let's go to the file and see. No. Close. We go to the. No, we go to the. You see here, Anaconda prompt. You can open it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.